Well, let me describe my book, A Survey of the New Testament. It's very widely used and has gone into four editions now and several foreign languages as well. Uh, my greatest fear in using a textbook on, new, on the New Testament is that students will learn the textbook but not the New Testament itself. And given that fear, I have written this textbook in a way that ensures as best as possible that stu students don't substitute the textbook for the text of the New Testament. Uh, for one thing, I try to make the introductory material concerning the history between the end of the Old Testament period and the beginning of the New Testament period as short and sweet as possible. I know that when I took a New Testament survey course, intertestamental history seemed very, very complicated. So I've tried to simplify that, but get across the major facts for New Testament background as clearly uh, a as possible. Um, then once we get into the New Testament, I, after short introductions and outlines and such like, I have arranged the material so that a student gets some interpretation of the text, but then is assigned to read a particular passage. Actually, the interpretation won't make very much sense unless the student actually reads the assigned passage. There are also leading questions at the beginning of each chapter. There are review questions, lists of people, places, and terms to remember. And since the New Testament is such a short book, I want my students always to read the entire text of the New Testament rather than a selection of texts. <clears throat> so if the textbook is used properly, students at the end of the course will have read the entire text of the New Testament. It is a short book. The famous British scholar C.H. Dodd was once asked, on BBC whether the rumor was true that he had memorized the entire New Testament in its original Greek. Well, he had to admit that he had memorized it in the original Greek, but then he added, it is such a short book, isn't it? <laughs>